Dear Scott Zaborski, this is my book number one for our book montage. It is called A Fraction of the Whole by Steve Toltz. Um, it was introduced to me by one of my very best friends, Nathan LeSueur, and ever since then it's pretty much been one of my very favorite books. It tells the story of a young man's life and the events that led up to his life. The book starts out with a young man named Jasper Dean and he's being held in a detention facility, kind of like a jail, in Australia, which is his native country. And he decides that even though it's against the rules, he is going to secretly write down the story of his life, his own narrative. He, he begins doing this by starting with his father's life and his father's childhood because his father's philosophies play heavily into his own life and the constant question throughout is whether or not Jasper will end up inheriting the lunacy of his father. So it begins by detailing his father's childhood which also includes his uncle Terry who plays an important role in the book and then eventually moves into his own childhood. It's a fabulous book, it's quite philosophical, especially for a fictional book, which is kind of interesting because it doesn't seem like it's fiction. It reads quite like a memoir does, but it's not a true story. I would caution there is some adult humor, um, some language at some times, violent scenes, but I don't think you really care about any of that. Um, here, I'll read to you the back of the book. As he recollects the extraordinary events that led to his father Martin's spectacular demise, Jasper Dean recounts his own boyhood of outrageous schemes and shocking discoveries about his infamous criminal Uncle Terry, his mysteriously absent mother, and Martin's constant losing battle to make his mark on the world. From the Australian bush to Bohemian Paris, from the jungles of Thailand to the labyrinths, asylums, and criminal lairs, and from the highs of first love to the lows of failed ambition, a fraction of the whole is an unforgettable adventure. I would highly agree that it is an unforgettable adventure. The Chicago Sun-Times called it an odyssey that's inspired, tender, and very funny. Sometimes all at the same time. Tolts' invention is as breathtaking as the speed of his narrative. The Los Angeles Times said, A rich father and son story packed with incident, humor, and characters reminiscent of the styles of Charles Dickens and John Irving. Willfully misanthropic and very funny. And the Seattle Times calls it devastatingly funny. Um, it was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize. And all in all, definitely a must read.